Wait a moment for me. Dude, press the eighth floor, please. Have you heard? The new CEO has been selected. Who got it? It's an external hire, Liu Skushu. And our boss even said, as long as he agrees, he can name the remuneration. <sighs> Let me tell you, I've seen plenty of these gilded overseas types. All talk and no substance. I think the big boss is going to waste money this time. Ms. Schumann, personally greeting me, huh? Seems like your company values me quite a bit. We've been friends for so many years. Of course I'd give you this courtesy. Thanks. Thank you. Moreover, for someone as insignificant as me, in the future, I need the protection of the CEO like you. You're being overly modest. Let's go. The big boss is waiting for you. Cheers. Cheers. The success of this exhibition is all thanks to everyone's collective efforts. Regarding today's regular meeting... Hello, I'd like a coffee, please. Our marketing department, mm -hmm. the year-end bonus at the end of this year, will definitely not disappoint everyone. Have you heard? Funkai not only organized this exhibition beautifully, but also, I don't know how he managed, he slashed the annual fee of the PR company in half. This time, he really impressed in front of the big boss. Now behind his back, everyone says, the higher-ups are favoring Funkai for the vice president. Just you watch, our Mr. Wei is going to make his move. Your coffee. Thank you. Come on, let me pour you another. Cheers. Where are you now? We're here at the outpatient building. Hurry up. We finished the discharge procedures. When is Wei Ming coming? Should be soon. I just texted him. He hasn't replied. No rush, no rush. Honey, I have a last minute meeting. I can't make it. Sorry to trouble you and your parents to take a cab home. Dad, Mom, mm -hmm. let's take a cab home. Isn't he arriving soon? Why waste money? He has a meeting at the company. He can't come. Oh. Seriously? The one time we need his help, and he pulls this, his ego is getting bigger. What will he be like in the future? It's normal for young people to be busy. Shuang Shuang, hail a cab. Let's head home. Huh? Mr. Lin. Gu Xu, why are you here? I happen to be free today. Thought I'd come to see if you needed any help with the discharge. <laughs> you came at the perfect time. Really perfect, truly. <laughs> that works, that works. Here, here, let me take that. I'll support you. Take it slow. Easy does it. Come on. Okay, you can let go now. <sighs> All right, then. All right, everyone's almost here. Okay. I have two announcements to make. First thing, next weekend is our company's team event. Mr. Wei has proposed to the higher-ups to set the theme of this event as Family Day. Everyone can bring their family members for free. Really? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, now the second thing, considering we have some single colleagues in our company, like Jiang Xi, Mr. Wei specifically mentioned, avoid embarrassment, we can opt out and request discount. Two eight hundred per person. Think it over. Okay, that's all for the two matters. Annie, get me something. <laughs> You heard the meeting just now, right? Oh. I did. What's he implying? Team building, team building. What's team building? It's when everyone comes together to bond, to foster teamwork. But, you know, Mr. Wei actually singled out Zheng Shi this time. That's a blow. I mean, what did she do to upset Mr. Wei like that? <laughs> I don't know. I'll carry you up. Gushu, can you handle it? No problem. Don't worry. Be careful. All right. Hand it to me. It's okay, Mom. What about you? I got it. I got it. I got it. It's so heavy. Why are you overexerting yourself? Here, let me.
What's going on? Why so secretive? Sis, have you upset anyone recently? Not that I'm aware of. Why? Well, lately, there's been gossip going around about you, and it's not pleasant. They even said... <clears throat> you once tried to get close to Mr. Wei, but Mr. Wei, being the gentleman he is, he didn't fall for your act. That's why he's been cold towards you now. Do you believe... what they're saying? Of course not. But who knows about the others? This gossip, it's so detailed. It's all over the company. Sis, who on earth did you offend? This is so mean-spirited. Don't worry. It's all baseless talk. Don't let it get to you. Missed me? Why can't I go to the team building? On family day, Lin Shuang will be there. I'm keeping you away for your sake. Would you even be happy going? Does that mean every time she shows up, I should step aside? When can I ever stand by your side proudly? What I had with her was just a game. Why chase these empty titles? My entire heart belongs to you. Listen. Focus on your work. Rushing won't help. If you get hurt, your mood will only worsen. Who said I'm upset? It's clear. It's written all over your face. Going to the ARC team building? Such a dull event. I can't be bothered. Is it that you don't want to go? Or did Wei Ming ask you not to? By skipping the team building, I get compensated 2,800 won. There, it's all fake and tiresome socializing. Obviously, I'd choose the money. Do you believe what Wei Ming said? I actually think he was being honest this time, but he only told half the truth and hid the rest. On one hand, he can use this team building event to solidify his image as the ideal family man. On the other hand, He's just being precautious. What do you mean? If someday the art exhibit incident resurfaces, he can easily shift all the blame onto you. His image is already well established. By then, everyone will only scorn the other woman for being so ruthless that you wouldn't even spare such a decent man. And if you ever try to retaliate, you'll just be seen as the vengeful villainess, failed in your ambitions and intent on revenge. I must say, Wei Ming's strategy of planning ahead is quite cunning. You don't need to keep sowing discord between him and me. I've already told you. I won't agree to your proposal. Whether you want to hear it or not isn't important. I just hope you realize he doesn't have a long-term future with you. You've sensed it already. You just needed someone else to say it. Coming. Hello, are you Miss Jiangxi? Oh, it's me. Thank you. Did you receive the flowers? Baby, I'm sorry for today. I'll make it up to you, I promise. I love you. Daddy, I don't feel good. I don't want to wear this skirt. What's wrong? Guo Guo? This skirt is so cute. You put it on then become a little princess. 
I'm not a little princess. Guogo is Mulan. That's right. You are Mulan, okay? Guogo, behave well today. And Daddy will buy you a balance bike, okay? Hmm? It's a promise. Hurry and eat. Pack up and we'll be on our way. Guogo, are you done eating? I'm done. Done? There's a little bit of milk left. Finish it up. Oh. Good girl. Mommy, are you not excited about the vacation? You caught me. What? I don't really want to go either. Mommy, what if we run away? Gogo, -go, stop playing. We're leaving soon. Didn't you want to test Wei Ming's sincerity? Today is the perfect chance. Tug of war competition? Begin! Go Wei Ming! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go on! Hurry, hurry! Go, go, hurry! Go, go, go on! Go on! Little Pinguo is so adorable! Exactly. Mrs. Wei, you're so lucky. Everyone from your department is here, right? Everyone's here! Go on, go on! Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Go, go, go. Go on, hurry, hurry. Awesome, awesome. It's all this skirt's fault. Otherwise, I'd definitely be first. Daddy chose the wrong skirt. What happened? Is the skirt uncomfortable? Later on, Mommy will find an opportunity to change it for you. Guo Guo, Daddy wants to tell you, not everything needs to be in the first place. Today, it's my fault. Don't consider it enough. Just focus on making you look pretty. Honey. Thank you for the hard work. Mr. Wei! Mr. Wei! We're one pair short for the three-legged race. How about you and your wife join? Yeah, you both should come. Should we join for this game? I'm feeling a bit unwell. You go ahead on your own. It's okay, it's okay. Mr. Wei, Mr. Wei! Listen, everyone is calling out for us. Show them some respect, will you? Mr. Wei, Mr. Wei! Mr. Wei, Mr. Wei! Let's go. It's our turn to play. <laughs> Google, cheer for Mommy. Let me tell you, I won't let you both down. Of course. Okay, okay, go on. Come on, come on. I got you. When I count to three, okay? Count to three. On my command. One, three. <laughs> go on, go on. Go on. Go on. Mr. Wei and his wife are so sweet together. Don't give up. Go on. So romantic. Go on. Go on, go on. You two are so in sync. Go on, go on. You doubt me? For this family, I've worked like a dog. I've had enough of you. Go on, go on. Mom, where's the money you promised? When are you going to send money home? I just paid the rent. I'm really out of cash. Jiangxi, Jiangxi. You've been working for so many years. Ah. Where did all your money go? Even your younger brother is doing better. Let me tell you, I've already paid the deposit for the construction team. If you don't send the money back, those 20,000 will be wasted completely at the end. Money, money. Is that all you care about? Do you ever worry about me? Have you ever cared if I'm living well and been bullied in Zhangzhou? Why are you yelling? Have I not cared about your well-being? I asked you to get married. Did you? They say for a woman, doing well is not as good as marrying well. 
How old are you now? In our village, girls in your age already have children several years old. You, you shouldn't be so picky. As long as the family is well off and can take care of our Shaohai, that's good enough. What? Is not enough that I give you money? If I get married, should I also let my family keep sending you money? Am I not thinking for your best? Men are all unreliable. Now, you still young, look sweet and pretty. But when you become old and wrinkled, who will want you then? By that time, you'll still have to rely on your own family. Do you believe what Wei Ming said? Wei Ming never planned to be with you long term. On one hand, he truly wants to use this team building to solidify his image as the ideal family man. On the other hand, it's to prevent potential issues. Lin Shuang is right. Tonight is the best opportunity to test Wei Ming's true intentions. Mom, I don't want to wear this dress. It's itchy. I don't want to wear it. Guo Guo, girls look best in princess dresses. I just don't like wearing it. I just don't like... Guo Guo, Mom is going to apply a little ointment for you now, and then it won't be itchy anymore, okay? It's here, right? I'll apply a bit of ointment. Honey, we should hurry up. We can't keep everyone waiting. Guo Guo, hurry up. Got it. Guo Guo, just be a moment, and then Mom will bring you back up. Okay? Good. Now, let's pick a nice band-aid for Guo Guo. Which one do you like? I like this yellow one. Let me introduce you all. This is my wife, Lin Shuang. This is Mr. Chen from the tech department. Hello. Hello. I've often heard Wei talk about you. Today, I finally meet you in person. This is my wife, Shan Shan. Hello, Shan Shan. Hello. Your child is about the same age as ours. Wei, let's take a photo together. Sure, let's take a photo. Come on. Come. I'll take you to our department. Be careful. You too, be careful. Guogu, be careful. Slow down. Hello, Mr. Wei. Hello, hello, hello. Let's go over there. Come on. Here are the elites of our department. Come on. Sister-in-law, let's have a drink. Everyone brought their family members, huh? Yes. Nice to meet you, Guogu. Didn't you greet the ladies? Hello, ladies. You're so well-behaved, Guogo. Mr. Wei, come on, let's have one. Nice to meet you, sister-in-law. Hello, Mr. Wei. Didn't bring your partner? I've always been single. <laughs> What's wrong, Guogo? Mr. Wei, let's take a photo. All right, let's take it together. Call them over. Guogo, take a photo. Come on. Thank you. Let's go. Shall we move to the front? Daddy, I'm so itchy. What's wrong, Guogo? Where does it itch? Hold on a bit longer, Guogo. Today is very important for Daddy. Can you hold on just a bit longer? Okay. Wei Ming, I think that's enough. I'm going to take Guogo and leave first. We've already come. It wouldn't be appropriate to leave now. I know it's been hard on you. Is something bothering you? Guogo has been uncomfortable all day. Can't you hold on just a bit longer? Wei Ming! Mr. Xiao? I didn't recognize you dressed like this. This is my wife, Lin Shuang. Hello, hello. Guo Gu, say hello to Uncle Xiao. Hello, Uncle Xiao. Hello. Where's Sister Wei? Mr. Ling, I think we should decide on our vice president as soon as possible. So everyone isn't left guessing. All right, I'll make the announcement. Fully committed to the company's service. Feng Kai, we all see your capabilities. What's yours will always be yours. Don't rush in this regard. Come on. Mr. Ling, this is my wife, Lin Shuang. Hello, hello. This is my daughter, Little Pinguo. Say hello to Uncle Ling. Hello, Uncle Ling. Little Pinguo, you're so pretty. Uncle has a little sister at home. Would you like to play with her? That would be great. I love playing with little sisters. Such a well-behaved girl. They say a harmonious family is the cornerstone of a successful career. Mr. Wei, you're truly blessed. I'm just lucky to have found a good wife. I, uh... Everyone's envious of Mr. Wei, truly. What's there to envy? Come on. Let me make a toast to all of you. Cheers! Come on, Guogo. What's wrong? Let mommy see. Come on.
Right here? Come. Guo Guo, what happened? Sister-in-law, let me take a look. Is it itchy, the dress? They say a harmonious family is the cornerstone of a successful career. Mr. Wei, you're truly blessed. I'm just lucky to have found a good wife. Mr. Wei, isn't that Jiang Shi from your department? She looks pretty dressed up today. Ah. She's also in your department, right? Uh, yes. Why is she just arriving now? I don't know. Mr. Wei had informed her in advance to not come. It was supposed to be a family team building event. Why can't she read the room? Mr. Wei asked her not to come. Oh. Mr. Wei said, It's good that Jiangxi is here. After all, we are from the same department. We should team build together. <sighs> Colleagues from the same department. You must be hungry. Let me get you something to eat. I'm not hungry. Mrs. Wei, nice to meet you. It's good to be here. I prefer people calling me Lin Shuang. What should I call you? My name is Zhang Shi. Sometimes, my colleagues call me by my English name, Camellia. Camellia? That means the Camellia flower, right? Hey? I think I remember you once said you really liked that name. Did I? You must have remembered wrong. Perhaps. What are you trying to do? I came for the team building. You knew my wife would be here. What are you playing at? I just want your wife to know about our relationship. I want everyone to know. The devoted family man has been having secret affairs in the office. Have you lost your mind? What good does it do you to destroy me? I have lost my mind, but I don't want to destroy you. Wei Ming, I love you. I can't live like this another day. I don't want to share you with anyone else. Love or not, why should I believe you? So now, I don't even have the right to love you? Jiang Xi. You've truly gone mad. You've truly gone mad. Listen to me. I'm warning you. From now on, our game is over. Come on, Mr. Wei. You're having a heart-to-heart -heart with a subordinate this late? You know what they say. If you walk by the river often, you'll eventually get your shoes wet. Karma catches up now? I don't know what you're talking about. 
Oh, come on, Mr. Way. You're so hypocritical. You play around with women, and that's fine. But why pretend to be in love? I get it. You think when she falls for you, she's easier to control. Why don't you say that a little louder? But now she's head over heels in love. Isn't this just shooting yourself in the foot? <laughs> Do you have any proof? Do you? I could sue you for defamation. Zhang Xi and I are simply superiors and subordinates. The whole company knows that I have a wife and a child. If you're going to sling mud, at least aim right. It sounds that you and Zhang Xi have parted ways. Mr. Wei? What's a mistress in the grand scheme of a bright future? Isn't she just another woman? Once secure the position of vice president, you'll have as many as you want. Now, wherever they go, they always carry a little handkerchief with them. The neighbor lady won't say anything more. Okay, that's the end of today's story. Little ones should head to bed now. Mom! Every time Dad has a company team building, he's not the same Dad. During meals, he would always hold me and make me sit on his lap. He'd also keep taking selfies with me. It's so annoying. Today was my fault. I should have been on your side. I shouldn't have let your dad force you to wear something you didn't like. All right, it's bedtime now. Hey. Have a good sleep. Are you lying down yet? Not asleep yet? Is Gogo asleep? Where did you go? I stepped out for a bit to handle some business. You mean things with Zhang Shi? Honey, there was a bit of ambiguity between us. I just clarified with her. From now on, aside from work, there won't be any relationship. I'm sorry. About that art exhibition last time, I lied to you. I shouldn't have told you that she and I were mere acquaintances. But please believe me. We've truly ended things this time. Can I even trust your words anymore? Maybe... I should just ask the other party directly. Weren't you going to buy an educational fund for Guogo? Since the villa purchase didn't go through, I'll transfer the half a million to you. So generous. For Guogo? It's all worth it. Lin Shuang, why are you transferring that money to me? Although it wasn't part of the plan, we had a prior agreement, right? So every penny I promised you, I will deliver. I heard your contracts and promotion were sabotaged by Wei Ming. Consider it taking back what rightfully belongs to you from him. I knew it. You came to gloat over my misfortune. Your misfortune is entertaining but it's not worth a hundred thousand. Besides, between the two of us, 
whose more ridiculous isn't yet clear. Let me tell you, this time I came, it's not for the money. Did you get what you wanted then? Just now, Wei Ming told me half-heartedly, confessed about the relationship between you two. But in his eyes, I didn't see a hint of guilt. Perhaps in his view, he just made a mistake, one that many people might make. So I'm just a mistake. You need to clear your head. Don't be so hard on yourself. Money isn't everything. But for me, it's the security for my daughters and my future. It's the same for you. It can help you solve many real life troubles, right? Honestly, I'm quite curious. What's so great about Wei Ming? What made you bend over backward for him all these years? No one ever acknowledged my worth the way he did. He appeared in my lost world like a ray of light. He gave me hope. Other men wanted me to be obedient, sensible, and harmless. But he was different. He encouraged me to pursue my career even actively created opportunities for me without him. There wouldn't be the Jiangxi of today. Do you understand? I don't. I don't get why you feel that way. Haven't you ever thought that he just wanted to use you to the fullest extent? He used feelings as a bargaining chip to tie you two together. When times are good, you can charge forward for him. When things go south, you're just the scapegoat. I don't care. At least he treats me like a woman and sees me as a person. You simply don't get it. To be neglected from birth, overlooked, and no matter how hard you try, you never receive validation or respect. You have no idea what it feels like. Being used isn't the same as being respected, nor is it validation. If someone wants to gain the respect of others, you need to first respect and love yourself. For someone who's been born with a silver spoon, how could you possibly understand how I feel? I'll say it again. Clear your head. Don't pin your hopes on someone else. Wei Ming only loves himself. If you sink too deep, you'll regret it. Gogo misses you so much. Grandma misses you too. Has mom cooked? I'm starving. Can we ever have a meal without you? Remember to eat the fruits I bought for you all. Don't let them rot. From now on, don't buy anything. If we want to eat something, we'll buy it ourselves. Gu <laughs> Xu. Hey. Shuang Shuang is here. Hey. You're here. <laughs> it's your dad. Insisting on playing chess with Gu Xu. After just two rounds, he said he was tired and went to rest leaving Gushu here by himself. What's that smell? Mom, what are you cooking in the pot? My fish. Do you know how to play chess? I do. What should I call you? My name is Pinguo. Oh, I'm Gushu. Pleasure to meet you. Hello. Uh, how about a game? It's your move. Do you play anything else? Uncle, have you known my mom for a long time? Yes, I have. How did you know? There's a picture of you at Grandpa's. From when you and Mom were younger, Grandpa said you're a very impressive and talented uncle. 
uncle. What was mom like before she became my mom? The old Lin Shuang? She was stubborn and strong-willed, always first in class during exams, good at both sports and arts. Your mom is the most outstanding person I've ever met. Even more outstanding than you, uncle? How's the academic atmosphere at Second High? I feel it's a bit more intense than my previous school. I've seen your grades from your previous school. They're excellent. Thank you, Principal. But remember, there's always someone better out there. Second High is a top provincial school. To succeed in such a school. Um... Hello, Principal. Excuse me, classmate. Can you give me back the paper plane? Thanks. This is Lin Shuang, the top student in our grade. From now on, not only will you two be classmates, but also competitors. Your mom, she's much, much more outstanding than me. A long, long time ago. She's always been the goal I wanted to surpass. Guo Guo, Grandma made your favorite big crab. Come eat. Time for crab. Wash your hands first. Let's go, dinner time. Little Pinguo sure makes herself at home. She has a big heart. You don't have to say things you don't mean to make her happy. Why do you think what I said wasn't genuine? From the moment I met you, I've always considered you as my one and only goal. The old Lin Shuang was indeed the most outstanding person I've ever seen. It was you who showed me what real talent looks like. Back then, no matter how hard I tried, I could never surpass you. It's a pity. Ever since you let emotions rule you and gave up on your career, that exceptional girl disappeared. Sis, you're back. Perfect timing. Look, look. One green, two whites, bok choy, and two water poached eggs. Turn off the stove first. Turn off the stove. It's burning, burning, burning. Just go sit. I'll bring it over to you in a moment. Did you make all of this? Yes. Who else could it be? It's quite heavy. You even cleaned the house. Oh. Sit down. Xiao Hai. Huh? Did you run out of money? I have money. I haven't finished spending the 2,000 yuan you gave me. Tell me, what's your real intention being here? Actually, there's nothing special. I was just thinking the other day, what if we had a guest or something? As soon as they opened the door, they'd see dirty socks everywhere. That'd be embarrassing, right? Guests? When have we ever had guests at our house? Well, don't you have friends? My friends? Mm. Sis, give it a taste. It'll harden later. Tastes just right. Now my wife doesn't answer my calls, and no one can find her. Tell me the truth. Where did you hide her? Hand her over to me. Ms. Wong has already filed for divorce. You'll see her on the day of the court hearing. Wait. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't go! Let go! Hand her over to me. Explain yourself. Let go! Release me! Hand her over to me! Release me! What are you doing? Let go! Don't think I don't know. That wretched woman is holding on to my affair, refusing to sign the divorce papers, and then sue me in court. Wasn't all this your idea? All you want is my money, isn't it? Since you don't care about your wife's feelings, what's wrong with her talking about money? Every penny you have after marriage half belongs to her. She's not asking for. She's taking back what's rightfully hers. Wait, who are you? What business do you have with my wife and me? Mr. Zhu, the division of assets between you and Ms. Wang will be decided by the court. Yelling here won't change anything. 
If you continue like this, I'll call the police. <sighs> call the police? You think I'm afraid of you? Fine. You wait and see. I won't let you succeed. Are you okay? I'm fine. Thank you. Lin Shuang. Have you considered what to do next? I understand. You saw what just happened. Some people will stoop so low when it comes to their interests. Indeed. Compared to burning one's bridges, going with the flow seems like an easier path. No. I haven't considered going with the flow. Wei Ming has already given up a part of his assets. I'm still working hard on the job front. It seems you've figured things out. Of course. Thanks for earlier. Morning. 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 Xiaoyang. This early morning, the atmosphere in the office feels off. What happened? Haven't you known? Feng Kai has really messed up this time. Take a look. This blew up. How dare you to make such a major decision on your own? Do you even have a brain? Huh? Speak up. Look, Mr. Ling, my intention was totally for the company. You dare say it was for the company? Feng Kai, that's not the right thing to say. Does the company lack the 20% of PR fees you saved? Because of what you did, now that it's been exposed, do you know the money the company spent on crisis PR is much more than what you saved? I know you're eager to shine, but you can't disregard the company's interests for your personal performance metrics. Did you hear? Wei Ming is right. No matter what you say now, you can't undo the damage to the company. Wait, Mr. Ling? I'm definitely at fault here. But give me a chance, I promise. Give you another chance? Now that this has happened, someone has to be responsible, right? Is it not you? Is it me then? Let me tell you, stop all your current work immediately. Have your team report directly to me. Uh -huh. As for how you'll be dealt with, we'll see after the audit department's investigation. Mr. Ling, your tea is ready. Wei Ming! Did you leak this to the media? Let go of me. I won't! <laughs> Trying to throw a punch, huh? Calm down. I don't even know what you're talking about. Stop playing innocent. This is a crucial moment in the competition for vice president. By pulling me down, aren't you the biggest beneficiary? Get one thing straight, you leaked user's data. You're the one who made the mistake. You can't blame others. Here's a word for you. You've brought this on yourself. Fine. You just wait. I'll surely find evidence that you leaked it to the media. When the bosses find out that you compromised Ark's interest for suppressing rival, don't expect to reap any benefits. You better get going. Go on. Today's instructor was pretty good, huh? Let's train together next time. Sounds good. Bye.
Class is about to start. I'll be right there. Don't stand here hesitating. If you have something to say, just spit it out. At such a crucial juncture, exposing Funkai's dirty laundry, don't you find it too coincidental? What are you trying to say? The whistleblower, apart from exposing the transaction recording between Funkai and the PR company, also revealed Funkai's back-end transaction records of copying user data. Within ARC, the number of people with this kind of access is quite limited, right? Wei Ming is one of them. This whole thing must be Wei Ming's doing. Jiang Xi, I hope you can help me. Find evidence of Wei Ming leaking to the media. I know... This cooperation is different from before. And you'll be taking a big risk. But as long as I get a hold of this leverage on Wei Ming, I'm confident he'll sign the divorce agreement. By then, our previous agreement still stands. Of every sum I get, you'll have a 20% cut. Moreover, isn't seeing me leave Wei Ming what you've wanted? I do want you two to divorce. But have you thought about the consequences? Once we find the evidence and expose Wei Ming, as the one betraying the company's interests. His career, his future, all will be ruined. After all, he is Pingo's father. Do you need to be this ruthless? I want the evidence, not to expose him, but to use it as a bargaining chip for the divorce. Likewise, this can also become your trump card to safeguard your own interests, right? Tell me. What do you need me to do? First, you'll need to log into the company's backend through Wei Ming's account. He has a habit when setting passwords. Usually it's an abbreviation of his name, followed by a date that holds significance to him. Are you sure about this? Calm down, try a few more times. I've already tried your wedding anniversary and Pingo's birthday. How many more times do I have to try before it works? You think this is like buying a lottery ticket? Try 0927. It worked. This is the date when Wei Ming became the product director of ARC, the peak of his career. We all overestimated its importance to him. What should I do next? Open the log. There should be records of Wei Ming's recent views and screenshot activities. Look for any information related to Feng Kai or the users. I found it. His screenshot matches exactly with the whistleblowers. Turns out he's the one who leaked the info. Quickly download that screenshot record and then log out of the system immediately. Got it. When will the new business plan be ready? We've been going back and forth discussing this for so long. When can we come to a conclusion? Mr. Wei is still waiting for the report. All right, I got it. I'll make sure to get it to you before I leave. You better keep your word. If you delay our progress, I'll definitely report the truth to Manager Wei. Okay. Mom, the coach praised my progress again today. Hmm. Mom saw it. Guogo, you're awesome. Yang Yang, bye bye. Guogo, see you later. Bye. Hello? Hi. Is this Lin Shuang? Yes, who's this? 
This is Zhu Xiaoqing from Pan Shi. I'm informing you that you've passed the preliminary round for the Pan Shi Research Institute assistant position. Please come to the company for the second round before 5 p.m. today. I happen to see a resume in HR just now. You're an alumnus, right? Hurry up, hurry up! The server has issues. Quick, move it, move it, move! What's going on? What exactly happened? It is hosting a shopping festival. Due to the overwhelming number of orders, the server crashed. They've been working overnight for several nights, still trying to fix the issue. Let me have a try. Have you guys tried all possible solutions? Uh, yes. Actually, the core issue is about preheating. Just like in the winter when we need to preheat the car before driving. We just rushed into driving it. Without preheating. Check the monitoring system data in a bit. When we hit a high traffic period, our data is sent over in waves. Without preheating, we need to pull resources from elsewhere, causing the system to lag. I've adjusted the resources and set up pre-warming caches. That should probably solve the issue. Oh, you're impressive, Manager Gu. I saw the documents you left behind. Even though you're not a recent graduate, your potential and willingness fit Panshu's approach to talent selection perfectly. So I handed your resume to our superior, the HR director. That's how I managed to get you this opportunity. Thank you. You helped me once, now I'm returning the favor. Repay a kindness. By the way, the newly appointed CEO will also be in this interview. Do your best. Okay. Good luck. The conference room. I'll head off now. You're Lin Shuang, right? Uh, Please take a seat. Thank you. Don't be nervous. Let me introduce everyone. This is Pan Shi CEO, Mr. Gu. Uh, the other is our chief assistant, Shu Man. I'm Hefei in charge of HR. We'll just have a casual chat. Just speak honestly about your thoughts. All right. I noticed in your resume that you once chose to give up your career to take care of your family and child. Becoming a full-time homemaker. May I ask, what's prompting you to now re-enter the workforce? It's for my daughter and also for myself. I have a daughter named Pinguo. She's very passionate about ice hockey and is quite talented. Yet even so, when people hear about her dream of becoming an ice hockey player, the initial reaction is usually one of skepticism. My daughter often asks me, she said, Mom, why can't girls play ice hockey? Are there many things only boys can do? She's posed this question multiple times and I've answered it many times, but I think I've yet to give her a truly satisfactory answer. I'm aware that, given my age and the significant gap, returning to the workforce won't be easy. You just asked me why I'm doing this. To stay home and accompany my daughter as she grew up. I don't regret my decision. But now, I want to reclaim the person I once was. Because I want to set an example for my daughter, to show her that women can also pursue their dreams without any constraints. I hope that the current doubts my daughter has can find answers in her mother's actions. In my opinion, even though Lin Shuang lacks some work experience, the position is an assistant. Work experience can gradually be accumulated over time. Shu Man. I don't have any more questions. Manager Gu, what's your opinion then? <clears throat> Do you think deep learning algorithms are superior to machine learning algorithms? And why? Some say deep learning is a black box with little interpretability. What's your take on this? 
I'm sorry. I haven't delved deeply into the technology of deep learning. But that's also one of the reasons I'm applying for the research assistant position, because at Panshi, I can be exposed to the latest technologies. Given the opportunity, I would strive to update my technical knowledge every spare moment I have beyond my regular duties. The world of algorithms changes rapidly. A four-year professional gap isn't something you can simply make up for. I'm sorry, someone who could easily give up their career and dreams isn't a good fit for Panshi. Next. Also, what I dislike the most are those who have good family backgrounds. People who have great talents and opportunities, but don't know how to cherish them. And you, you are one of those people. Video call with mom. Mom, mom! Guo Guo. Today grandma taught me how to make steamed buns. Look, this is the bunny shaped bun I made. Hey, yeah. Guo Guo is so clever. Mommy, are you crying? Mommy isn't crying. Just had a little speck of dust get into my eye. Let Guo Guo blow on it for you then. Guo Guo will blow and it will stop hurting. Mommy, do your eyes still hurt? It really doesn't hurt anymore. Guo Guo is so clever. If Guo Guo is with mommy, it doesn't hurt. So Guo Guo wants to be with mommy forever. Guo Guo will always be with mommy. Okay. Guo Guo, it's time to eat. Come on, say goodbye to mommy. Bye bye Guo Guo. Come give mommy a kiss. <laughs> brings the evidence. Meet at our usual spot tonight, or it's a no-go. Hello, Xiao Zhang. Manager Wei. I need a favor. I want to ask if the tech department has recently cleared any backend logs. You know, search histories, screenshot records and such. No. What happened, Manager Wei? Is there something wrong? Do you want me to check it for you? Could you please? Can you help me look up an IP address? Uh. All right. Get in the car. Where are you taking me? Stop the car up ahead. I need to get out. I'm here. I'll wait for you.
Manager Wei? Didn't we decide to part ways? Isn't it a bit inappropriate for you to do this to a regular female colleague? I regret it. From the moment I left your room, I felt regret. I know deep down I didn't mean what I said. I don't know why. The words came out wrong. I'm not a good person. From the first day I got involved with you, I was destined to let everyone down. But even so, I don't want to let you go. Happy birthday. How did you know? You once told me that your mother changed your birth date by half a year earlier so you could start working sooner to support the family. So today is your actual birthday. I haven't forgotten any word you've told me. Jiangxi. I know I don't have the right to ask for your forgiveness. I just hope you won't reject my kindness. I'm sorry, ma'am. Would you like to order anything else? We're closing soon. Thank you. Hello. The number you've dialed is turned off. I'm sorry. The number you've dialed is turned off. Silly. Uh. What are you doing? I... I'll be right there. Hurry up. Okay. Hello, the number you've dialed is turned off. I'm sorry. The number you've dialed is turned off. There's something I need to confess to you. What is it? That news leak, I was the whistleblower. I did it, not just for myself. I wanted to gift you the position of deputy assistant manager. This way you can stand in front of me with pride. This is also what you've always wanted. Do you think I'm despicable? But I have no regrets. Even if it's exposed one day, I won't regret it.
Actually, I've known that you were the whistleblower. Don't worry. I've already cleared all that up for you. No one will find out. You've done so much for me. I... I don't even know how to repay you. The more I try to repay, the more I feel I owe you. Silly. I want you to owe me forever. Focus on driving. Jiang Xi. Jiang Xi. Who is it? Open the door. Lin Shuang? Lin Shuang, why are you here? My sister. She's not home. Where is Jiang Xi? I don't know. She didn't come home last night. Might be working overtime. Sis, did something happen? Have you been drinking? Let me get you some water. I'm back. Sis, Lin Shuang is here. She's looking for you. Where's the evidence? Destroyed. Destroyed? I destroyed the evidence. I've also cleared all the back-end data. Don't think about using me to go against Wei Ming. You were with Wei Ming yesterday. Jiang Xi, I knew you were naive, but I didn't expect you to be such naive. He was being nice to you. Didn't you ever wonder why he was nice at this crucial moment? What's his intention? He must have found something out. He's afraid you'll leak the evidence. That's why he's doing this. You've been under him for so many years. You've seen Wei Ming's opportunistic and treacherous tactics, haven't you? I agreed to your proposal. Just to see how much I mean to Wei Ming. Now I know. I'm satisfied. How much you mean to him? You overestimate yourself. Sis, sis, let's have breakfast together. Did you two have a fight? Friends shouldn't- Shut up! She and I aren't friends. Keep your distance from her. Some people are just trouble. Lin Shuang, do you think you're still in high school? Sulking and hiding here. How immature can you be? Your parents called you, but you didn't answer. We thought something had happened to you. We almost called the police. Why are you here? Here to gloat at me? How is it? Do you like it? The Lin Shuang who was always ahead of you, now down and out like this. Are you happy? Do you have paranoid delusions or something? Let's talk about this back home. Did I say something wrong? Playing the good guy now? Weren't you pretty enthusiastic about scolding me before? If you're talking about the job interview, I was just commenting on the situation. Gushu, why to look down on me? Huh? Yes. I've given up my dreams before, but that's because I had no choice. It was a decision I made when I was at a loss. Not everyone can be like you. Being on your own, charging ahead to pursue your dreams. 
Apart from dreams in this world, there are responsibilities. In front of these responsibilities, my personal dreams don't count for much. I can put them aside! Right. You're not wrong. You can't balance family and career. But if you can't, someone has to make sacrifices. Do you know what sacrifice is? It's doing something you're reluctant to do, but have to. Never mind. Why am I even telling you this? You, an emotionless work machine, you'll never get it and understand my situation. I never intended to look down on you. You've been out of this industry for too long. You truly can't handle the job at Panshu. Have you heard? Mr. Wei got blasted at the board meeting. Things look bad. They might parachute in a new VP. <sighs> Mr. Wei really has it rough. When it rains, it pours. The big boss hasn't cooled down from the last data breach. And now, right before this quarterly review, this quarter, everyone's performances are at an all-time bad. I bet Mr. Wei might be dragged through the mud. Drag. Drag. But that's not all. Rumor has it that he has some personal issues, like getting involved with female subordinates. Really? What do you think? Uh, uh, what else did you say? Sorry, Mr. Wei. About the upcoming exhibition... Mr. Ling mentioned it last night. The marketing team's tasks won't bother you for now. With your blind loyalty, uh, I feel sorry for you. Uh -huh. Anyone with eyes can see. You did all that purely for the company. The person to be blamed should be the one who ratted you out. If it weren't for him, we would be celebrating your promotion to VP. It's not a big deal. I'll handle it perfectly at the end. What do you want with me? Let me tell you, Zhang Shi. You said I've been observing you for several days. Look, however you put it, you're a manager. Huh? Yet every day, you're doing secretary tasks. Even making coffee for the boss daily. I'm genuinely curious. After that team building fiasco, how did you manage to get back into Wei's good graces? What did you say? I didn't catch that. If you didn't quite hear me, then I'll make it clearer. I know, it was Wei who leaked the info to the media. And I also know that you must have something on him. Stop spouting nonsense. Don't be so quick to deny. Let me finish. I'm here to partner with you. If you help me bring down Wei Ming, whatever he promised you, I do too. Of course... Whatever he can't give you, I can. So tell me, what is it that Wei can't offer? Come on, stop playing dumb. Don't you think I can't see the nature of your relationship with Wei? He's married, he has kids, he's just playing games with you. But I'm different, I'm single. If you're willing, at any time, you can openly be by my side. 
Are you crazy? Hold on. I'm not here to discuss emotions. I'm here to talk business. You're looking for a big tree to... I want to bring Wei Ming down. We take what we want. It's a win-win for both of us. Don't delude yourself. There's no way I'm partnering with you. Look, Jiang Xi, don't be so final. Don't blame me for not warning you. People like Wei Ming, they won't allow any leverage to be held over them by others. The reason he's being nice to you is to let your guard down. So if you don't team up with me now, you'll end up just like me, understand? Seriously. Seriously! Such a beautiful girl! Why don't you know better? Just ask what you want to. I just want to know. Did you know from the start I know about your secret? Why do you say that? If... I didn't know you were the informant. If I hadn't cleared away, the evidence you left behind... Would you not have come back to me? Why are you talking nonsense? I did this to salvage our relationship. Because I love you. Before this, I didn't know you did so much for me. Always helping me. You really don't blame me? After all, I did all this behind your back. I'll only cherish you more. You need to have faith in yourself and our relationship. That way we can last even longer. You think so, right? Silly girl. Did someone say something to you? No. Sis, I'm coming in. I brought you some food. This is mung bean paste, fried dough sticks, and some steamed buns. I'll leave them here. Remember to eat them later. Say what you want. Don't be so clumsy here. I just came to see you. You look really nice in that outfit today. Sis, did you and Lin Shuang, you two, make up yet? Did you... Do something to upset Lin Shuang? It's okay. Just apologize to her. Lin Shuang, Lin Shuang, Lin Shuang. Did Lin Shuang cast a spell on you or something? No! I just don't want to see you two fighting. Are you worried about seeing us fight? Or concerned that if we break up, you won't see her again? No. No? Uh. Jiang Hai. Uh. Do you like Lin Shuang? No, no. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Not at all. Really? No, no! Lin Shuang is married. I know she's married. I've been in her car before. I saw the kids' toys. You know she's married? Why do you even make a move? Are you out of your mind? No. I just think she's a really nice person. She drove you home that time and helped me out. I'm just trying to repay her kindness. Not like you. That's not what I meant. 
Sorry, I'm sorry. Just eat. Say that again. What's wrong I with didn't, me? I didn't. Sorry. I'm leaving. You've been out of this industry for too long. Indeed, you're not fit for Panshee's work. Because I'm out of the industry, I can't be fit for the job. Because I can't be fit for the job, I keep staying out of the industry. This is just a vicious cycle. coming. Miss Lin, your delivery. Okay. Thank you. Hello, Xiaoqing. Lin Shuang, did you get the lecture pass? I just got it. You sent it? Yes. Listen, these top technician from Panxi, they gives public lectures two days a week at Zhangzhou University. You can use this pass to audit his classes. I'll send you the schedule later. Xiaoqing, I only did you a small favor, but you've helped me so much. I don't even know how to thank you. There's no need to thank me. I just think we are all women, and it's not easy for any of us. Helping each other if we can is good. Oh, by the way, this opportunity to attend the lecture is very important. You absolutely can't miss it. Mm. All right. Thank you so much. Only little kids need their moms to help them get dressed. I'm not a little kid. Okay, Guogo is not a little kid. Here, you dress yourself. Pingo has more perseverance and some talent than I imagined. <laughs> However, to stay, we'll have to see. I have confidence in Guogo. <laughs> Pingo, keep it up. See you later. Guogo, mommy needs to discuss something with you. Your hockey class every Wednesday. I can't accompany you anymore. Why? Then I'll tell you this secret. Because starting this week, Mommy will be going to school. Mommy is going to kindergarten too? Yes, Mommy is going to kindergarten too. <sighs> All right, then you have to study hard. At this age, going to kindergarten, it's a bit embarrassing. I promise you, I'll study hard. Off you go. Let's go. Wait a moment, a moment. A hug. Okay. It's fully charged. Let's go. All right. For a better future for us, I will definitely work hard. Blood ties really are a fascinating thing. Looking at Pinguo, it feels like I'm seeing a younger version of myself, brave, resolute, and undistracted. Sometimes a child is like a light in the fog, reminding me of who I once was. At moments like this, self-pity is useless. I need to quickly find a job and take control of the divorce situation.
Why did you ask me to meet here? This is the only place in the company without surveillance cameras. It's better to be cautious. So you calling me means you've understood? I think you're right. I do need someone powerful by my side. Besides, you're younger than Wei Ming. And you're the eligible bachelor. Being with you, I won't lose out. That's more like it. Let me tell you, Jiang Xi, from the beginning, I believed you were a smart woman. You won't let me down. In fact, the moment you joined the company, I noticed you. Even though over the years I've shown interest multiple times, you never reciprocated. But that's okay. It's not too late for you now. As long as you're with me, I guarantee that from now on, it will be a smooth development for you and Ark. A boundless future. <laughs> Where's the stuff? What stuff? The dirt on Wei Ming. I don't have it. I did everything you asked for. But I am curious. What do you want with it? I've told you. I hate it when people scheme behind my back. He needs a lesson. Shuang. We brought the golden melon from Nanshan. Let me tell you, it's from the elderly Mrs. Zhang next door. She knew we visit you on the first of each month, so she specially picked it from her garden yesterday. It's very fresh. I'll tell you, you just need to steam it. Then add a bit of salt, a bit of sugar, and some vinegar. Mix it with sesame oil. It's really tasty. I got it. Mm. Lin Shuang, I just got some first-hand news. An internet mogul, who's usually very hard to invite, has agreed to give a month-long lecture at Jiang University. Also, this lecture is scheduled an hour later than the usual open classes. Make sure to arrange your time accordingly. All right, I got it. I'll definitely attend. Eh? What are you doing? Change the channel back. No! I want to watch SpongeBob. Guo Guo? Can we make a deal? Let's let Grandma and Grandpa watch the TV today. And tomorrow, Grandma will buy you your favorite music box. Grandma and Grandpa watch TV to make money from stocks. You're lying, Mom said. Only working can make money. Uh, working earns little money. Stocks can make big money. Ever heard of getting rich overnight? Guo Guo, come have some watermelon. I don't want watermelon. I want the butterfly cracker from Jin Yue Hotel. Mom was late today. The butterfly cracker were sold out. I'll get some for you tomorrow. Yeah. It's just butterfly cracker, right? Grandma and Grandpa will buy them for you tomorrow. We'll buy as many as you want. Grandpa, you should get up earlier tomorrow to buy the butterfly cracker for Guo Guo. Ah. No problem. I'll line up early in the morning to buy them. Ah. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Mom, hmm? do you say your neck hurts from playing Mahjong, right? Yes, yes, yes. I bought a massager for you. Oh. <laughs> oh, this one, I've seen it advertised on TV. I've wanted one for a long time. Right? Yes. Then give it a try. Oh. All right, I'll try it. <laughs> it's easy. Just wear it like this. Then press here. Ew. How's that? It feels so good, so good. It must have been expensive. It's okay. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm. Mom, mm. tomorrow... I need to take my dad for a medical checkup, and also get the car serviced. Could you please pick up Xiaopinguo for me? I, I'm quite busy too. Why don't you take your dad for the checkup earlier? Nowadays everything is booked online. You get the exact time you've scheduled. Going early won't help.
all right. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Thank you, Grandma. Grandma is the best. Little smarty. Little smarty. Hello, classmates. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Shu. Hello, Mr. Shu. Today, I want to discuss with you how to build lightweight models based on the lottery hypothesis and how to deploy them on small devices. Um. Like tablets, phones, watches, headphones, and other IoT devices. So these small devices can easily utilize intelligent models. Actually, the moment you joined the company, I noticed you. Over the years, I've shown interest multiple times. You never reciprocated. That's okay. It's not too late for you now. As long as you're willing to side with me, I guarantee that from now on, it will be a smooth development for you and Ark. A boundless future. Jiangxi. You really? You are meant to do great things.